Okay, now let me share the screen. I usually I do it the other way around. Zoom. Come on now. Share screen. And let me find Chrome. Here we go. Share. All right, there we go. Now everything's back to where I expected. Okay, welcome everyone to the January 9th iteration of the Micro Profile Live Hangout. January 9th, 2024, the inaugural 2024 meeting. Um, do we have a link here? I'll paste it in here to have them both handy. A link to the meeting minutes is in the chat. Uh, this is a new doc and um, let's see, hopefully everyone can find it. Um, Let's see, um, it, uh, go ahead and add yourself uh, as a contributor. It is everyone's shared responsibility to take um, notes. And the meeting is being recorded. And as of yesterday, um, James, uh, Ryan, sorry, Ryan St. James has um, volunteered to begin or resume uploading videos to YouTube. So um, these will eventually end up on YouTube. Okay, um, just let you know instead of uh, so you can stream the video instead of having to download it to rewatch the meeting minutes. So, um, okay, so they will be uploaded probably, you know, within two or three days. Okay, let's see here. Now I gotta find my cursor. <laughs> this is a day I'm having already. Uh, 2024. 2024. Yes. Okay, um, we, okay, uh, general, under general, I, I don't have a lot for um, the call today, um, so we'll, we'll just probably wing some of it um, as people want to bring up topics, but we have, um, I actually want to actively begin taking a look at this now that we've entered 2024, uh, moving our, our micro profile wiki. I don't know if there's any automated tools to do it. Um, Paul, sorry, I may have asked you this already. Um, do you know if any other working groups um, have been moving their wiki and where they're moving it, and if there's any automated means of doing so? The you know, any working groups moving their wiki. I don't think it's automated, though. Um, oh. I think it's, uh, but I, 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 I'm assuming they're moving. I think they're moving it to Git, um, GitHub. Or sorry, GitLab, the GitLab wiki, because they're on GitLab. Okay. Or maybe they're on GitHub. GitHub. I kind of fumbling around. I think they're on GitHub, and I think they're moving their uh, from uh, from the old Eclipse Foundation wiki to GitHub's wiki. But uh, let me look into it and get back to you. You can drop a, you want to drop an action for me in your minutes? I can do. Oh that. yeah, yeah, that, that'll help, and at least we can uh, share war stories um, potentially yeah. with another. So. Uh... Call to um, chat with other working groups. It, 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 the ID working group, they're the one that I know is moving. Sorry, I'm looking for, uh, do, 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 do. what's your uh, email? Uh, it, should be, it should be at Paul sign. That should resolve to me. Oh, I, I do been doing Paul. No, Later. not for me. I'll I'll add you, or just add yourself. Why don't you do that? I will. I will. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Kind of want to try to get ahead of this because I just know that if if we don't, um, we're gonna be rushing. So, um. Okay. That's all we have in in, in kind of general. Um, micro profile seven. Is there any any updates that you wanted to cover, Emily? Um, well, there is one thing I do want to bring up. Um, we on the marketing call yesterday, we chatted with uh, Emerson, and we're going to bring him up to speed um, as a release for a future release lead, right? Sometime after seven zero. So if there's a seven one or an eight or something like that, he can lead the release and. Um, so um, that's one topic. Um, in fact, uh, Emily, is there anything else that you wanted to bring up as it relates to yeah, so Microprofile 7? Uh, yeah, so 
basically is uh, one good news to share is um, uh, micro private uh, res client spec team a uh, family reform. So we had a meeting prior to Christmas, and then also we had another meeting yesterday. So it's a, a few folks uh, from my IBM and Red Hat um, uh, came together and trying to move the spec forward. So with a release, so I think it's uh, like uh, the uh, micro profile rest client will have a release for micro profile seven. Uh, so there's a there's a one thing is um John basically is uh, we need to discuss further because uh, the um, uh, Andy McCrad was previously driving that um, spec and <laughs> unfortunately is kind of he left IBM and then the new group have no committer <laughs> no committer. Status. So they couldn't uh, like uh, basically assign the issues uh, or like um, uh, merge PRs uh, and etc. So it's um I don't know whether I I know the um, like a uh, uh, a media you put together about contributor. I think that one it can only sign uh, basically it's, um issues and etc. So what are we uh what can we do with this? Do we just nominate a couple of people to be the basically uh, uh, administrator for that project and move the spec forward or kind of the, the existing committer help along and then, then uh, like after they have done some contribution, nominate uh, some of them to be committers. So. Emily, the question is for me. Uh, no, no, no for you. It's uh, for the group. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I think what we can do is is first of all, um, if they don't have committer access, we can review work done to date, right? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, either on other specs or or earlier, um, and then uh, after a few commits, you know what that like we've normally done. Um, add to that, you know, a certain number of commits, um, and when we feel comfortable then we can start a committer election. Yeah. Um, my take on this is the same as what I mentioned yesterday on the marketing call. I think this is our opportunity to not only work with Emerson on the trainee, trainer um, uh, that we used to do before Microprofile became a working group. Every, every, every API should be working on turning current contributors into committers in a smaller scale and making a little bit of noise to appreciate those that show up, to engage them, to know that their time, even if it's two hours a week, is valuable. We have been silent and very passive on um, the technical side on releases. And 2024 is different for MicroProfile because we're done with infra releases and everything else. So this kind of conversation, I think we need to go, if because the calls are at different levels and different times, it's hard for me to show up at two in the morning for Europe, but I would love for us to be, for example, Emily, you join in Europe, maybe you can join every single API and I'm not volunteering you, I'm just saying you are in Europe and say, hey, we have talked about this. People show up here, the most active people, we need to do this and this is why it matters. I think we need to be a little bit more um, honest on the, the contributions that we get so that this community grow in the technical side, right? Yeah, so so that's why I think is that anyways, there's no hard requirement about how many commit has been done. I think uh, gradually with with uh, basically a few weeks, and uh, they reg regularly kind of actively working on the issues and spec. Uh, I think uh, is uh, we we can just uh, nominate uh, the. Okay, so that's, uh, I think uh, we, are, we are in kind of the same uh, kind of the opinion, so which is good. Uh, the other thing is um, uh, also macro profile open API. And I think it's, uh, they are going to do a release align with uh, open API 3.1 spec. So, it's, uh, so that's good. Um, and uh, so that leaves uh, one more thing is with the macro profile config. So I set up, uh, basically I uh, started uh, um conversation regarding 
kind of the finding out uh, looking for some time slot uh, to have the config team regrouped and then discuss the issues and etc and uh, finally uh, nobody responded so i just uh, took uh, liberty to find a time i will basically uh, announce the time uh, i meeting slot i scheduled uh, and then it's kind of we can move from there we see how many people will turn up we really want to look at um, what kind of updates we want to provide for micro profile config as well. So that's uh, uh, pretty much uh, Roberto. Uh, Roberto is on the call, right? Roberto? Can you hear me? Or maybe he's our way. Uh, he's but off anyway. mute, but we can't hear him. Oh, okay. So Roberto. So as I said, sorry, I was just going to say, Roberto, if you're having a problem, um, just post in the chat if you're having a problem with your audio. Yeah, post post a chat and also is the, yeah, I will basically is the send, sending out the a note regarding the meeting time, which is uh, 2 p.m. UK time. So from uh, next week, uh, uh, Tuesday. So hopefully you can uh, attend. I think it uh, would be great. Hello? Yeah, now we hear you. Yeah, finally, I hear you. So, Roberto, I just uh, today I uh, like basically drafted um meeting time is two p.m. UK time to for the config group uh, for anybody who is interested in the config spec to get together to uh, discuss what uh, we are going to do for the next release. Uh, are you okay with the time? Is that on the microphone profile calendar? Yeah, yeah, just added it today. Okay. So ha have a look. Uh, if it is not convenient to, for you, drop me a note and get in touch with me. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I think here's uh, kind of the spec I'm making steady progress and uh, finally is trying to basically finalize um, uh, like uh, the, the content for the micro profile seven uh, release. And hopefully, uh, like uh, in the technical call next week, we would continue the conversation regarding like uh, uh, rebase, uh, basically on the micro profile, uh, on the Jakarta E10 core profile for some specs. So whether like uh, basically work out the, the spec version changes and et cetera. Yeah, that's uh, that's all. The open API was going to have a 3.1 release. So you could kind of see on the, on the screen, I've highlighted that. Should I put in 3.1? So the, uh, let me see. So the uh, Open API, they probably will have a, a photo one release because one. they are going to rebase on the, um, the API standard 3.1. Apparently there's some break changes already. So that would be a, Oh, photo old readies. Oh, yeah. yeah, photo old readies. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Okay. All righty. Um, find my cursor again. Okay. So, um, mm -hmm. Before we move forward, Martin also on the call. Martin, do you plan to do any health release? Well, only what we discussed before with uh, the Jakarta changes. Uh, it didn't look into individual features yet, but probably we can do something if needed. Okay. So to be determined. So hopefully, if you can take a time, uh, yeah, take a take a look at this week. Is maybe we would try to finalize the content next week to see if the widgets back are going to do any releases. Yeah, sorry, not like uh, next week I should have more information. I have a question for this. Where we see a need update for MP7, um, why are we not creating Git tickets for such uh, information so that I know that every API will write the documentation, but usually this page should have 
links that will tell us the changes. When we say my major or minor, but there's no links. It's just very difficult to navigate. If I was new to MicroProfile and I wanted to know what's going on, um, it would be impossible for me to know where to go, what is a link um, easily. Is that something they were interested in achieving this year while we work on some changes for the releases of MicroProfile? I think we should do that. Um, I'm not, I, I got to think about, and maybe we could have this on the technical call. Um, but then I would have because... to join the technical call and like, I can join this week, next week, but then it's hard for me to, to, to join every single time. I have other call at that time. I can drop in and no. I can be into attention or someone else, John, or you can bring it in. I would really appreciate that. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can bring it up. Um, all I'm talking about on the technical call is because about how we want to organize it, right? Does each spec, you know, has its own Git issue and then at the platform spec, we link it, that, that kind of stuff, right? So I, I, I think it's a very good idea. I, um, I, I think it's very good for us to track. Um, it's also something that we could link to for the release, uh, for each spec's release plan, um, or it's the source for the release plan. Um, so um, I, I think that's a very good idea. So then John, you own it. Thank you so much. And let's move forward. So I think uh, uh, is a, basically this is the kind of we work in stages. So it's the first we need to work out. It's not in no point to create a gate, gate ticket that do you plan to do a release or blah, blah, something. And uh, this is the kind of we're trying to work out uh, is there any release. And then if there is a release, so basically, we will have a link, uh, hopefully just a link to the, uh, like a roadmap. For example, for uh, basically the config, if it's a no change, that would be a no. And probably it's, yeah, it doesn't make sense to have a link to anything. And for the kind of, for example, resident client, if it's a major release, and then we, we can like, once we work out whether it's a release and then we can turn this one, Basically, basically, it's a major, and also could add a link to directly point to the roadmap. So basically, the roadmap we will say the 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 version as well. Yeah, I. So I mean, are are you saying that it's too early to create a Git issue, um, or that we should not? Use Git issues. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to follow. So, so what I'm saying, I do not see the point to create. A, I do not know what a Git issue uh, is about. So what I'm saying, the way I create this column is trying to track on whether it's a major or minor release. So from this point of view, I don't really uh, like see the point. You click on a link and then you say, oh, major. Click on a link, you say, oh, minor. The, the basically who will tell you whether you know, minor. So here is pretty oh. much, uh, yeah. Let me, let me clarify. So we have a template for the announcements for releases. Mm -hmm. So most often those announcements are very, very have very little uh, technical um, impact or information on each API that has changed. If we have the API, if we have if each if each API had the exact changes, like really, really detailed, that information can be copied into the template that we use for the releases. And it will be already, the job will be done early on. So when we are editing and writing, you know, compile the information, we already know what is the ticket and what is the information. For example, anyone that is not technical could write it because the information would be there. Right, we have that each release has different reviews, reviewers, and I am just asking for a way for us to be a little bit more cautious when we are changing things, especially changing things. Let's write it up and understand that this can be projected to the whole world via the announcement. That is my point. The reason and behind this, especially that, and also because we have created the, the spreadsheets. But if I was new in my profile, what would it mean if someone came and he didn't know anything? We're talking about acquiring new contributors for that that is tracing and tracking that needs to be added. We said last year that we will do better at tracing and stats. And this is a part 
of becoming better in metrics and tracking ourselves and the work that we do. Whatever we do is fine. I will be not joining the technical call, but this is my suggestion. Um, and you know, you can take it or leave it, it's fine. Yeah, why don't you create a template to see what kind of things you want? And also maybe you can read with uh, kind of, I don't know wh where you file the Git issue. If you just uh, file the Git issue on a particular project, and then what do you say? And what kind of information you want to gather? So I'm not against uh, like uh, open up a Git issue. If like, uh, I'm not sure what kind of information you it want. Sounds like... Uh, Sounds like you want to get like uh, the, the basically release content, right? So it's uh, what I was saying is that the roadmap has, however, the roadmap link uh, uh, just give you individual kind of GitHub issues, but doesn't give you kind of the overall picture, the, like uh, the paragraph or description what's included. Or maybe we can come up with uh, uh, some other things, basically, it's for the release, you summarize something or or kind of some temp template they need to use for track the track, uh, like a changing log or something like that. So we can continue the, the conversation. If you can share kind of from market marketing point of view, what kind of things uh, needed, that would be good. Yeah, and I like it more for more than just a, a marketing thing, yeah. I, I think it allows everybody to track like what the current status of all the specs are just by going to to get. Martin, um, yes. sorry about this, John. Uh, Martin, you were writing something. Um, do you want to speak? Yeah, but it's hard to find space where I can talk. Uh, GitHub has also this functionality of milestones where you can basically link all the issues that are relevant for particular release. That could be useful too. Yeah, so that's, Martin, that's what I kind of uh, mentioned earlier. So basically, if we, once we work out which spec has a release, so basically we have been using milestone uh, to track the content. So we can directly post, uh, basically add the link here. But we can we can basically continue the conversation and uh, like uh, yeah improve the process. I will go go forward. Okay, yeah, let's, just let's... an idea. If we have milestones, it's not that hard to write some script that could uh, parse basically the individual issues and generate some text from it. Yeah, good idea. Or use the AI. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that just summary. for AI. <laughs> use the AI summary. Look at this. Yeah, that, that's implied yeah. now, no? Yeah. It's implied for everything now. Yeah, copilot uh, or some other things to work out uh, like uh, what to put. That's hey, we should have a micro profile AI spec. I have no idea what it would do. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody else has AI now, right? Yeah. Yeah, we should. We should. The, 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 you know, the AI. I think a Spring or, already uh, have already done the Spring AI. All right, so let's uh, we'll 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 bring it up about how to how to track it um, at the at the technical call. Um, let's see, anything else um, from the releases that you wanted to cover, Emily? Uh, no, I think that's pretty much. Okay. Uh, Emily, paste the program plan technical call technical goals here so we can track them during community calls okay we haven't done that uh was this from last year last year i forgot to delete yeah. it i was cleaning the agenda and that one is skipped it has to be yeah I was, I was going through cleaning too so yeah mm -hmm. I, I skipped it so um so let's do that um oh have we created all the technical goals uh, not yet. yeah we need to do that we need to do that first, and then we paste uh, track of the GitHub issues. Yeah, no, I haven't done that. I'll see if I can um, start doing that. John, you are going to do it for all, or you want um, me to help her to do some? For 
You mean the entire, all the program plan? Sorry, what do you mean by all? Uh -huh. I, I mean, the okay, whole yeah. of the... No, I could do that. Okay, thank you. Um, so I'm going to put this under um, releases, technical. Sorry, I'm trying to find the right place to put it. Here we go. Um, there we go. Oops, scroll too much. Okay, um, so I will do that. Um, community outreach. Any update Emerson, on? Yeah, this is Adrian? Emerson. Yep. Uh, I I start following up the, the the things we discussed yesterday. I just touch base with the marketing uh, list. Uh, there is Clark, Vincent, and Reza. We, we start following up the suggestion we need for the foundation. I'm going to uh, recopilate everything in the ticket. i just waiting for the logistic to be able to, to assign tickets to me on the, in the GitHub repository. So working on that right now, and we'll be posting everything there. Okay. And Emerson, I think you were amazing for continuing to work as a mediator between the working group and the Eclipse Foundation. We really appreciate you and appreciate the patience that it takes to gather the information. You have done it for two years now. So thank you. Yeah, Ross. Yes. Yep, thank you very much. Um, anything around the budget? I would like to, um, you know, we say this every year and this year we really mean it, right? Um, about how we plan to spend roughly 12.5, I think. Um, I think 2,500 um, was dedicated to um, Community Day. But I think the rest, I would like to get a head start on as much as possible um, of the marketing budget. Um, I, I know that uh, this is the community call, um, but just kind of a, a nudge to ourselves and some of the marketing calls as well to kind of get a head start and do as much planning ahead of time um, about how I want to spend that money on SEO or whatever. So um, any other comments around budget? Plus one. We really mean it this year. Yes. I mean that seriously, not sarcastically. We are starting the mixes. We accepted the Vince uh, invite. So we are going to use some of the money and then we just need to decide what we do for the rest. Will uh, I think um, my recommendation will be uh, to ask it, the, the community, um, do we print the rest for t-shirts? We haven't printed t-shirts um, last year. So, um, and we have new members. The new members do not have any of the micro profile t-shirts yet. So I highly recommend, I would always say, wearing the microfire t-shirt is cool, it's nice, it's valuable. You can wear it at the gym. It doesn't really matter if it's a conference. And we have new members that do not have the t-shirt yet. Um, so my cash is- just new members? My, all my old shirts are starting, you know, the ink <laughs> is starting to crack on them. Okay, there you go. You're saying, that, you're saying it, right? My recommendation is just to spend the rest in swag. Yeah, what about me? <laughs> for everyone it gets divided into 13 yeah. members you're right no, no, I, I, no i understand yeah um okay um uh, marketing um i don't see razor here but i did start um I, I downloaded the some of the content and stuff as it relates to um the tutorial so um i really do want to um personally just get involved in the tutorial um Let's see. Um, where we where we at on the tutorial? Just any updates? Um, anyone has? Uh, John, John, can you can you open the ticket A four seven? Tarun has done an amazing job after joining the micro profile marketing call. Before we went into vacation, he understood that he could use the ticket to update us in his research. Wait here. 
And where you saw the white, let me explain where you see the white. During the call, we discovered that the document he had placed the bet for him to win the tutorial had deliverables that were not achievable because Michael Profile goes off into vacation for three weeks in December and January. So in the marketing call, we told, we explained to him that that will not work. I used the ticket after the call to make sure that his word is protected by stating that no one will be around to review this. Uh, you can use the month while we are away for research, which he did. Um, and then the, the origin, it was supposed to be, the project completion was supposed to be January 31st, which is not possible, right? So then, uh, John, thanks so much for sharing. Go down. So then I said, you know, these are the, the seven pillars. And I gave him the issue for Lars technical pro bono document where he saw more than 80 comments and how to work with us in the open. And he can choose privacy as well. It depends. So then what he did during the vacation is all the comments are in the, in the below. And he tells you, um, John, can you go down? So we can see all his comments. He did a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Please, everyone, read it, understand it. He is using Jakarta EE tutorial, and now he needs to get the go ahead. Yes, this is you are in the right path. Start. So my recommendation is in the next technical call, where you can bring this up. We can send this to the community call as well, community forum as well, but we need everyone that is technical from the APIs to say, this is okay, we can do this. Someone is working on this, what we can do to help him. The ticket is there for the communication. We also have his email, but we want him not to be wasting his time with private conversations. So that's, this ticket is our communication tool. He has ideas, he has brainstorming, everything is there and he's doing a great job with transparency. He's just ready to go. Yeah, nice. It's waiting on us. All right, yeah, I'll be taking a look at this um, this week in, mm -hmm. in a lot more detail. So, John, busy my, this week. Yeah. yeah, my recommendation is: is it possible for you to send this um, this ticket to the working group and the community, and just uh, I can give you via private Ter Terun's uh, email. We can CC him on that, so he knows the email has been sent. I'm not sure if he has um, he has become a member of the working group and the forum, and he doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. um, because you, mean, would... you mean send it to the Google group? Correct. Right. We, mm -hmm. we need to make it a little bit more formal. This has not been shared via the proper mediums of the forum, uh, of micro profile. We need to send it and then BCC him on this so he knows we're on it. So I can send you his email private and we BCC him. We want to make sure that uh, his privacy is protected, but that would be my recommendation. He's just waiting for us to say, yes, mm -hmm. you are in the right track, start. And then he can set up the new outlines for when he will finish. Questions about this. Uh, this is the first time maybe many of you have seen it. Uh, I saw his updates and the tickets uh, on Monday. I think it's very cool. Highly recommend everyone reads it. So, uh, you know, you can add questions to him directly in the ticket. Um, we met him once. He's super cool. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, also, John, we will send the basically uh, to the Google, uh, Google group, like uh, also mm -hmm. specify, I mean, what's the best way to provide the feedback? Is that via the gift ticket or Correct. Via yeah. Ticket? No, no, gift ticket. Okay. He, he is someone that will not have the time to track three different forums. So he's using the ticket as, as Lars did. From the feedback of Lars, he thought that the ticket was the best way. Um, any feedback is great. Awesome. He just wants to make sure that he doesn't waste his time doing things when maybe he's going in the wrong direction. Technical feedback is going to be super important. He can use the Git issues and the Git for everything, but the form, the tone, those are the kind of things that he even has access to the Google uh, um, Drive for he can even write a, the, 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 the tutorial there if he wanted to, but he's going to use Git because Git is the source of truth of my profile. 
Okay, sorry. I'm, I just realized here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, before we move on to the next subject, uh, there is one thing I forgot to mention early on. Uh, there is a ballot currently going for approving the steering committee call meet, meet, meeting minutes from December. We we had the call and then we kind of you know headed out for vacation and stuff. So, um, please vote on December. I think it's twelfth. Yeah, um, twenty twenty three. Steering committee meeting minutes ballot. Okay. Do, do, do. This is going to be a long link here. There we go. So that's the that's the archive. By the way, Paul, I love that Eclipse Foundation archive. <laughs> um, for this reason. Okay. Um, so please, everyone, go uh, vote on this because the ballot closes. Uh... Let's see, tomorrow, I think. Do, 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 do. Subject, subject. January 10th. Yeah, it closes tomorrow. So I'll send out a reminder as well. All right. Um, back down. Uh, anything on infrastructure or website? Uh, I can say no because we just got back. So we need yeah. to rest the work on um, the the the. The, the project pages. Okay, and then the last thing here is uh, me creating program plan tracking like I have in the past. So, okay, awesome. All righty. Um, is that me? That's me. Oh, that's Emerson. Okay. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's it for today. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining. And um, we will see you next week at the technical call. Um, or in two weeks at the next live hangout. All right. Um, welcome back. Don't forget to say you really mean it this year. Budget, mm -hmm. huh? Don't forget, that, Michael. To same bad time, same bad channel. Oh, <laughs> exactly. same bad time, same bad channel. Yeah, like <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Bye, everyone. My bad. My bad. Bye. Bye. Healthy, healthy, healthy and happy 2024. Let's happy be healthy first. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.